All right, I feel like we've been talking about this for a very long time and it is finally happening. Parts of the Jacksonville landing are starting to come down. <sighs> Mixed emotion. Really? I, I don't know, for me, I, yeah. don't know, I don't know. I have a million dollar project expected to take a couple of months to complete. And now they're going to have just a vacant piece of green space. Yeah. What will happen there? Lana Harris live with us this morning on the progress of the demolition and some proposals of next. Hello, Lana. Hey, good morning. Get yeah, mixed emotions because I mean, we've only gotten to this point because nobody was really coming. So anyway, we are here at the dismantling process and this is what it looks like now. It's all wrapped up by uh, this barricade and I was noticing that there's, you know, the Florida Georgia sign, there's the Jazz Festival sign. And it's just a reminder that there were really some good times that were had at this landing, but here we are now. Now the dismantling had already been happening. That process was underway and they were removing things like uh, tables and bars and, you know, soft materials that they uh, could easily get on out of there. But now it's the walls, it's the roof. You can't see it from out here right now, but that video shows you it is in shambles here. And like I said, it was once a really popular place. So it is sad about that. But what happened to the stuff inside? That's the question. We told you back in September, certain parts of the landing were being salvaged and sold off. And since everyone was for some reason particularly interested in the Hooters bar, we do know that that is now home at the Horsinki's Vinyl Lounge in St. Augustine. The owner said he thought it was just a great fit for him. So you may also find out there a door from the Deep Blue Bar and art prints from Chicago Pizza. So um, those were also sold. So if you're feeling a little nostalgic, hopefully that'll bring you some comfort that maybe you can run into a piece of landing out here somewhere. But the demolition process is expected to take until about May or June. So we're gonna continue to follow this. We know a lot of people are interested in what ends up happening here and coming up in the next half hour, we'll talk about what we may see take its place. Here at the landing, I'm Lana Harris, First Coast News on your side.